We call our own shots. Oh, we might as well carry on our tournament that we was doing. Mate, we're playing the Pharaohs. We're playing the Galacticos. Mate, Galacticos are good, you know. They got Zidane. <laughs> Zidane. Imagine. That would be sad. I don't know why I went on this. Yeah, I don't know either. I was so confused for ages there. The Wranglers. The it's raining is so bad shit. outside. You should be in my room. It's horrible. Yeah, you I can hear it going bang, 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 bang. Yeah, it's so annoying. Oh, yeah. You were lucky I answered the phone when I did, or I wouldn't have been waking up, trust me. <laughs> I forgot you was even coming around. I had no idea. Don't know how that was, Rafa. Mm. Well, I thought you wouldn't be awake because I texted you earlier. Yeah. And you didn't reply, so I thought yeah. he's probably sleeping. Usually I wouldn't reply to a text like that anyway, so... Oh! But, yeah. Um... Yeah, now that now that I got the three sixty controller sorted, uh, we could definitely. Usually, I won't spoil spoil this, but it doesn't matter anyway. The series is too deep. Like people ain't gonna watch this anymore. Um, but yeah, we can play um to my t favorite FIFA and PES for sure. We could start um. We could start uh. PES 2010, um, not long into the future, and uh, FIFA 13 as a player. Mm. They still got Halo to do as well. Yeah. And obviously, yeah, we got that's a live stream thing. We, we got we could, stuff to do. Yeah. We got PES 6. It's a good thing it don't matter too much. Fair 6 isn't even out yet, so you could literally... Like, I've never... I've not, Apparently, I've never edited and uploaded it for some reason. <laughs> although although we did it, like, years ago, it feels like. For some reason, like, I tried to tackle it and then it just booted the ball away. Man, when I went to... um. I went to this wrestling, yeah. Oh, yeah, they branched up. They're casually doing shows in New Addington. Oh, well, that should have been theirs, but whatever. They're doing shows in random places now, but one of the places is so awkward to get to, it's quicker to take the bus on the way home. It's a mm -hmm. good... It, or it isn't quicker to take the bus because the train goes straight. It, it, on the train there, on the way there, is like you need to go to like ten different places on the way there, but on the way back, it's it's literally just two places. But but man, I saw in that company, I saw one of the weirdest wrestlers I've ever seen. Like my favorite one was when he was like, <laughs> he was like, there's this guy called Solomon Lamb, and he goes, I like Lamb. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And he tries to bite him. It was weird. Wow, well, that was advantage. I didn't even realise there was advantage in this game. Yeah, there is only on the foot foot so I don't know why it tried to make me go through his legs. I didn't even try and go through his legs. I didn't. I know I didn't need to, so I just didn't bother. I think this is the group stage. I'm not even sure. Mm, it's the last game in the group stage. I'm pretty sure, but I think we're already through. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure we won our other two games.
um, oh, wh what was, uh, man, Jesus Christ, this game was hard, yeah, shoot, um, yeah, so far since I've watched all these realistic, realistic, so far since I've watched all these wrestling shows, I've not seen anyone proper botch it yet, um, but I've seen, I've seen people like, fuck up, but not to the point where I'm like, holy shit, that should be on Botchamania, like, mm -hmm. not yet. I love watching Botchamania, it's funny. The thing is, yeah, what's sad about Botchamania is the people from WWE get paid millions. Yeah, they're on they're on Botchamania like all the time. Yeah. Like, I know they're on TV, yeah, but so is um every other wrestling company half the time. It's like so it's like, it's like you can't use that as an excuse. Oh, we're on TV regularly, like, so dip. So is all the companies that I've watched so far, like that company I saw on Friday are on Botchamania, uh, not Botchamania. I mean like on, um, t the company that I watch all record their matches and the one on s Sunday I watch are on actual TV. So. So you can't be like, oh, we're we're on TV, they're not. They are on TV, and so if they did watch, people would see easily, unless they edit it out, because there are a lot of time where WWE edit out their botches, isn't it? Mm. So, like, like, man... No. Take a whack. That was so bad. I was trying to aim for the front post. Yeah. Wow, this ref's like yeah. 50 million fouls in this game. Let's make a sub. <laughs> Oh. Oh. The thing is, as well, is weirdly enough, the shots they look really weak as well. Should have scored that one. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think this is a knockout game. It must be because it would have gone to a group stage, and it mm. it would have gone to a draw. Because we thought it was the group stages. There is actually a guy from Wimbledon who da who wrestles. I'm not seeing him on TV yet though. But he wrestles for the company Star Watch, which is funny. Ah. Although I've never had a conversation with with him, so. Yes. Fuck it, you know. Eventually went in. That was, that was a lucky. Yeah, that was lucky. <coughs> that 
I also need something good to go. Oh, apparently that was to get through to the final. Why Why did... I guess you can't draw on this game. I'm not even sure. I'm confused. I guess not. West Brom. West Brom at Chalbion? Stephen Reid. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Guess what? I found out Stephen Reid is from Kingston. <laughs> he played for Northern Ireland. Like, how confusing is that? Literally, I was searching up. Uh, I don't actually know. Us. I think he he was managing AFC Wimbledon like last week. That's what I think. That was what I was trying to check up actually, and and it said he was from Kingston. I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. To be fair, you see that guy Clinton Morrison who played for Ireland. Mm. He's from Tooty. Yeah. He is, which is random. Oh yeah, the other day, yeah, I found out that, um, do you remember Kevin Lisby? That yeah. guy who played for like Tottenham or something. He yeah. played for Charlton as well. Yeah, That's he, he plays for Crow Valley Paper Mills. That's the team we could actually go and watch. They play, they play literally like two minutes from Bromley. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. He's like 40 as well. Good. That was a bit awkward, that one. It was way wide. Oh! <laughs> Man, that would have been the most perfect free kick ever. Oh, yeah. Have you seen this WWE contract thing going on? Did you see Justin no. Sizem, if you know who that is? No. Oh my, you missed him, man. Literally everyone's hating on him. And now everyone's hating on British Strong Style now because of what they said. What happened? Basically, uh, he said that he'd never worked for WWE because of this whole contract thing. So now er everyone's mocking him now, but the pe people are hating on British Strong Style because... Because of it, they basically were saying how there's nothing wrong with it, I think. Something like that. But people what? are saying, because they're doing it because you can watch these people for cheap. Um, cheaper rate than WWE, so they're like £50 tickets to see them. When their arena's not even full. Because for the NXT UK shows, their arena sometimes isn't like a quarter full. And they do their shows at like... 2000 seater arenas as well so it gets more embarrassing but yeah like um so yeah they've been giving people contracts where they can't uh work for shows of people of people that they don't uh pot sharing so like oh, yeah. so like progress they can work for and that's why you saw Ronda Rousey at PWG because WWE on pot PWG so she, she probably. I, I thingy. Um. Oh no, she was at that video I showed you was like a uh, thingy, for, for when she was still in UFC. Yeah. Oh, so she won't be, but yeah, WWE part in PWG. So. But ever, yeah, she's been there recently. So. Yeah. So that's because of WWE probably told her to make an appearance. That's why you see people like Mustafa Ali and. Uh, Ricochet wrestling for PWG because WWE own own it and Progress they own part Progress so they can tell Jim Smallman the owner of Progress basically what to do because because he uh because he they he owns it and so the WWE but yeah basically they've been given contracts where they can't wrestle against people who work for TNA and stuff but they can like it's just all a bit confusing oh so they can work in progress but but if they it's can't they can't work yeah so WWE. so like i don't know say say um yeah they can work against someone who's who's in and out of wwe as long as they don't work for uh impact basically oh. so like say so say like 
Arno, Chris Jericho was wrestling for TNA, but miraculously went to progress, he wouldn't be able to wrestle someone like Pete Dunne because Pete Dunne wouldn't be allowed to in his contract, which just sounds dumb, but yeah, it's funny. Weird. It's a bit funny. It's a bit weird. They're just casually targeting. I know. TNA, like, they do it all the all the time for dumb shit, man. They they're dumb. Not not none of these wrestlers. Now I think these wrestlers who have signed, who who have joined them, are now realizing what pain in the ass they actually are now. And realize WWE isn't the dream anymore. I mean, look at fucking Joey Ryan. He's he never he's never in his in his life wrestled for WWE, and he's got he bought a house for five hundred thousand. So. Oh uh, yeah, no. Now WWE, you don't need to wrestle for WWE anymore. Like you can wrestle for TNA and, and say that you're successful. So. Mm, and at TNA's the moment, not even the second best company, I'd say. Nah, Japan, not really. One hundred percent. Yeah. At the moment. The Japan's are right up there with. They're WWE. definitely the best company in Canada. That's not hard though, is it? No. A lot of um, the wrestlers on the show that I went for at Sunday work for TNA, and some of them that I worked for that work for WWE wrestled there, like Tony Storm and stuff. They wrestled for that company I went to see at Sunday. That company that literally has like a hundred people come to their shows. Um. Yeah, whatever happened there. Oh my. We're going to get knocked out again. This was the tournament we got knocked out last time. And that we had to replay. Oh, oh my come god, on. man. Why would I have passed there? But yeah, like... um, So yeah. You see that show that... um. I'm not sure if that wrestling show that I'm going to on Saturday they're bottomed by WWE, but 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 um, none of only one person in that on that show so far that's been announced on their thing um, is working against uh, someone who works for Impact. So oh yeah, by the way, the other day yeah I found uh, um. I'm not sure if you knew this, but I actually went to TNA when it last came to England. Apart from, um, uh, apart from that show in Manchester, and I found I searched it up and I found out what um, what matches there were. And apparently, I saw AJ Styles and Kurt Angle. Like, how mental is that? Just jokes. I searched it up because I remembered some of the matches. Like, I saw, I saw, uh, Xavier Woods. Um, when he was uh, in TNA, I did back in the day against Scott Steiner. This was apparently this show happened in 2009 that I saw, so I thought that was really funny. Yeah, he was called he he was called Consequences Creed in TNA. That's what they called him <laughs> because of his second name, obviously. Oh my god, man! So yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. I see it. I, I'll show you after the video. It's pretty funny, it is. Like, the people I saw are oh. legendary. Mm -hmm. That was harsh. Oh. That's a foul. <laughs> the guy just wrecked me after I kicked it. Oh my god, man. They're trying to fuck us up. 
you knew they were trying to fuck us over there from the moment it, it the free kick happened. That's such BS. Oh, that's fucking annoying. Wait, West Brom won it in the end, so I don't feel bad going down to the losers. It's only that one that we lost. I'm pretty sure we lost that one last time, yeah. innit? Let's uh, upgrade our guys. I'm surprised we can even upgrade them, to be honest. Oh, yeah, did you see Soldier Boy released his own games console? <clears throat> How do you not know this news, man? <laughs> because it's probably shit, isn't it? It is quite shit, but still. Like, how do you not, how have you not seen this news? Like, a random guy is desperate for money. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But it's still funny though. See five v five five v five panel. Let's do um foot sh foot sword shield. It's absolutely stupid to me. I didn't ever release a games console. Yeah, especially when he ripped it off or at all. If you see what it, especially the one you do on your own, because you're never competing with all the people. Like there's yeah. only three people who have got good consoles. Well, it's. It's not even a console for that, it's just a, a retro games console, like the console that can play like PS1 games and stuff. <laughs> oh, you can tell that was a notification. Mm -hmm. That I was gonna say, you, you can't text twice that quick unless you manage to send a blank text in it. Jeez, this is a weird arena. Yeah. The way the floor in it. I swear the pitch is massive as well. Yeah, it feels big if it's not big. We. It's in Tokyo. I'm not gonna lie, this is meant to be a 20 minute video, this, uh, the video sucks 23 minutes, that, it feels like that went quick. Oh my god, no. <laughs> what? What? Oh, fuck's sake. Oh yeah, PlayStation 1 released, um, or like PlayStation released a console uh, with like 20 preloaded games on it, like PS1 games, and um, first of all their lineup was terrible, and second of all they basically made it and people are angry saying it's like the worst console ever and stuff. Basically it's a midget sized PS1 with a HDMI cable in the back. But the way they've made their games are terrible, stuff like that. Okay. Just completely disregard the fact that I just spam the B button. Uh, also, yeah, with that wrestling show, it finishes at 11. So I might even have to take the night tube, which is weird. I've never taken the night tube before. Cause it, uh, cause um, it's a Saturday, so night tube only runs on a Saturday for some reason. 
Saturday and Friday. So basically, sa Saturday and Sunday morning. <laughs> if you do it by that. Mm. I don't think they do it by that, just because it makes it easier if I say Friday night, innit? Oh my. It, it makes it sound easier if I say Friday night. It's weird, it's not even like we've been bad either. We just can't score. We get the majority of the shots. They don't even play bad that often. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's weird. Like we probably been. <laughs> they were lucky. They, we were lucky. They could have easily banged that one. Mm. Oh yeah, um, Sutton have done this thing where they posted, um, where they posted, uh, oh fuck, they posted posters of their, um, upcoming fixtures, but they posted, um, you see in, in those, um, those advertising boards around Sutton, mm -hmm. they put them there and they put one in Kosh, they put loads in Kosh, sure, so everyone's just taking the piss on the forum. Over the fact that there's one in Carshorton Station. Don't know whether that's a far or a corner. <laughs> yeah, that's a corner. So yeah, they just taking the piss out of it right now. To be honest, it won't surprise me if they put... put oh my <laughs> god, man. Yes! <laughs> Jesus Christ! What is this? What is this? How? Why did the guy even kick it to I him? I know, I would have blasted that out. The guy's laying on the floor, just pass it to him, like, yeah. I'd have blasted that out of the box, I would have. Of course, we scored, like, the most AIDS goal after not being able to concede, not being able to score for some reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was watching Jordy Shaw, yeah, because it started, so I was catching up with it. So I haven't watched it in like three seasons or whatever, like three series. So I, I decided to watch it, and um, and uh, they, uh, James was in an episode, like original James. Jeez. He, he he left like six series ago. He left a long time ago. He he was in an episode. Holly's back. I think she came back last series. Um, who else is... Oh yeah, Kyle's coming back for a one-off, I think. I think Kyle's coming back for a one-off. He was in the preview for the last episode. Oh yeah, Catfish is back. Um, they had, they had Jim Carrey's daughter on the last episode. <laughs> which I mm -hmm. thought was random. Oh yeah, and some... In, in Catfish, there was a real person for once. Who was just weird... He was one of the weirdest persons I've ever seen on a, on a show. Like, he'd known this girl for 12 years, yeah, but he'd never met her. How the fuck did this girl go on for 12 years is something that I'll never know. Could you imagine talking to someone for 12 years and never meeting them? After, after about a year, I'd have been like, okay, you, you're going to have to meet me, like, like maximum maximum after a year I'd have been like fuck I need to meet you but 11 12 years like seriously 12 years 
God, Somehow man. you won that game. I know, like, what the fuck? 16 shots on target we had. Jeez. You see what I mean, right? We're not playing bad, we just couldn't bang them in. I'm surprised we can even upgrade any of these. I was gonna say we probably got all the skills as well. That's it, the last skill. Waiter. I think he's meant to be like our defender or something. Or not our defender. I, need, I think this guy might, could be our midfielder that we took out. Because we just put Lampard in for some reason. Yeah, uh, no, it's not. Let's, let's play. Let's play Gareth Bale. Yeah, so we're playing Gareth Bale. You can tell that they, that that you, you like normal real players weren't really meant for this. So like. Oh man. Oh yeah, did you see in Wimbledon someone got shot the other day? No. I say the other day, it happened like a week where, ago. That the one where the police shot him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That is so out of hand, isn't it? Guy just robbed somewhere and a <laughs> guy shot him. They mu he must have been armed. Yeah. There's no way they would have just shot him. It's weird. They haven't mentioned it though or anything, so it's really confusing. Like, they haven't mentioned the fact that he was armed if he was. Because they don't shoot people in this country. Like, when you've been shot and you've survived, then you know you had some sort of dodgy item with you. Like a gun or something in it. Yeah. They, they, he was definitely... They he don't probably shoot. had a gun when he robbed a shot. Yeah. And or then, an offensive weapon, like a knife. Yeah, or a knife. And then it was just like, bro. Need to give send that guy to advert where they're like I had a knife and I got st stabbed like do you know what I mean have you heard yeah, that Adam? I didn't want I yeah. had a knife and I got shot <laughs> do you know that's literally been the second incident within like a week you know in Wimbledon at South Wimbledon um, at South Wimbledon um, a, a police woman got fly kicked in the face straight up what? Yeah, I know. Literally, the road where South Umberden Station is, pretty much. So, what I find more interesting. Why? Yeah. That just seems so random. Yeah, I don't know. There was like two men, and they started kicking this woman. This police woman, like. How do you know this? Just casually on the news. Uh, one of the Sutton Common Rovers, uh, an ex Sutton Common Rovers player, recorded it. And then he got, he got, everyone was cussing him down for not helping. A video, oh, I think I've seen it, a video. I might have seen this particular video that you're talking about. Yeah. Where the I'll woman didn't get, like, the guy got, there was a woman and a guy officer. Yeah. The guy got beaten up way worse than the woman. Nah, the woman got it bad, man. She got fly kicked in the face and everything. Nah, definitely not the video i seen, man. It was all on Reddit like a week ago. Like this video, it was definitely England. There was a bus right in front of them. No, nah, it wasn't. That wasn't it. There was. It was late at night and buses don't even go down on that road. So yeah, well, it's definitely a different video then. A woman got fly kicked in that face. It was mental. <laughs> How lucky can you get? That nearly worked. Oh my. I was trying to skip the cutscene, innit? 
Cross. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> like, let's shoot. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh my god, man. <laughs> I can't believe. That's the first time that's happened to us. Yeah. That guy did not make his own teammate. Mate, you don't get points for not making your own teammate. Pass. Oh, I tried to pass it there. Oh. <laughs> it's going to go out for a throw in as well. Oh. Lucky that guy. No joke, yeah. Got it. Jeremy Carr did one of the fucking funniest slide detectors I've ever seen him do, yeah? So basically this family came in, yeah? Yeah. Because they they wanted to know who, who nicked some money or whatever, yeah? Mm. So what happened? First of all, yeah? Um, they, the, <laughs> they were accusing three people. The boyfriend was... It was the mum who was accusing these three people, yeah? The, she was accusing the boyfriend, um, the, the her two kids, like her son and daughter. I meant to pass that. <laughs> and um, basically what happened, yeah, was the boyfriend came out um, and the daughter didn't and the son was backstage, yeah, in some random part of the studio. And um, basically what happened was the boyfriend did it, admitted... Uh, Passed it, sorry, no, I made it. The uh, the door did it, passed it. The boyfriend did it, passed it, yeah. And then what happens? They go out the back and the son admits that he does it, yeah. Then he reads up the results and he admitted he did it in the results, yeah. And what did they say? Oh, we didn't believe him when he told us. And Jeremy's like, what world are we living in? It was amazing, trust me. If you saw it, man, it was ridiculous. It was like one of the most ridiculous stories I've ever heard. They were like, did you take it? And then they were like, I don't believe it. Like, it was weird. And again? Oh, I tried it. <laughs> tried. It was one of the weirdest stories ever. Jeremy is like... Even though he stole from you, you bet you don't think he's stolen from you. It was one of the weirdest stories ever. It was weird. Those people had severe problems. He was like, yeah, I took the money to take a girl on a night out. That's literally what the guy said. Oh wow. I thought they gave it a free kick, didn't you? For a slight mm. second. Not so, I wouldn't have been surprised. Their goalkeeper is so far out. <laughs> you actually robbed my shot. <laughs> Did you shoot? Yeah. Well, I didn't even realise. It felt like a pass. It felt like a pass, to be honest. I love how we haven't been able to get the ball. Let's do another match while we're at it. And then it will finish the um, group stage.
Lesnar. Ibrahimovic. <laughs> Put Frank Lampard back Frank Lampard back in. Yeah. I did uh, the last game it casually put Wheater in. Oh, I didn't even try and do that. What? How? What? I've never seen penalties before. That's the first time I've ever seen a penalty on this, you know? How was that even a penalty? The guy, the goalie literally couldn't have done any more of the ball. It's basically Ben Sutt versus Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic nearly won that. See ya, mate. Passing. That was well placed. <laughs> that guy, that guy just got nutmegged so bad. Oh, god damn it! Ah. <clears throat> Oh, that was a good ball. Aquilani. What the fuck? Oh Did yeah. You just make a chicken sound. Uh, you see, on my FM save, yeah. For some reason, everyone's gone Japan on my FM save. Like literally, everyone's gone to Jungbook. Like Ward Prowse plays for Jungbook. James McCarthy plays for Jungbook. They all play for Jungbook. James McLean plays for Jungbook. So many people play for John Book in my save, it's bizarre. Oh. Just pepper shots. Got an achievement for that. I'll, I'll find out what that is on cam, off camera. Uh, it's probably for scoring the amount of goals or something, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I just realised I might have left my webcam on. It's sad then. My webcam's got my face in it.
it's just behind him. It's going to be weird if I accidentally left my webcam on because you'll see me and you'll just be next to me, not even in the camera, but you'll just be there talking. Yeah, I just see my shoulder. Yeah. Might do. I always forget to turn it off every time I click record, but <laughs> I usually do. I'll check it, but I could crash the software. That's what happened one time when I tried to check. Just chase him until it goes out. Oh, I tried to skill it past them. How did he miss? That was actually a good win. We somehow managed to go from struggling to score to score four goals and five goals. Gets hold of teams. 